Hi everyone, my name is Paul and I'm here to show you our latest product, the DJI LiDAR Rangefinder. We're going to go over today's uh, DJI LiDAR Rangefinder's autofocus capabilities. I'm here with my friend Ray. Hi. Uh, and we're going to be showcasing the autofocus system and how it performs in this kind of environment. The camera I'm using is a Blackmagic 6K Pro and the lens that's mounted is from the DZO Film Vespid series. Today, I'm gonna be using three focal lengths of 16, 35, and 50 millimeter. I'll be showing the autofocus performance of these three lenses. Now, with the LiDAR range finder, I've already calibrated the three lenses in advance. So if I change a lens, all I have to do is select the corresponding lens. For example, the lens I'm using now is a 16 millimeter, so I'll select the 16 millimeter preset. Since the system itself has the function of person recognition focusing, I just need to get my subject in frame and the autofocusing will start. So first, we'll get a few B-roll shots of location. The DJI LiDAR system has two focus modes, wide mode and spot focus. For detailed shots of objects, I'll select the spot focus mode. When I start to shoot and the subject I'm filming is a person, I'd recommend using the wide focus mode. This allows the system to lock on the person and focus automatically. Now I'm going to dismount the camera and operate it independently from the gimbal. The focus motor is also connected to LiDAR rangefinder. Here I'm using a tilt up power supply handle to power the LiDAR system. The output from this handle is 8 volts using their special cable. Since the LiDAR rangefinder needs between 7 to 16 volts, we can't use a normal USB portable battery charger as a power supply because, in most cases, they'll only supply 5 volts. Using the standard USB-C cable to power the LiDAR won't work. After the system is powered on, the indicator lights will turn red. Next, I simply tap the AF-MF button, and then the indicator light will turn green. Now, it's ready to go. When used independently, the LiDAR rangefinder defaults to wide focus mode. Let's see how it performs. Thank you, Ray, for your performance today. And uh, I hope this a little showcase shows a little bit about what our LiDAR rangefinder can do. Thank you. Bye. Speak softly, love, and hold me warm against your heart. I feel your words that end the trembling moments start. Where we 